My rant will be about the worst movie ever made in the history of filmmaking called Rock of Ages. Yeah! <laughs> the movie and the awful Broadway show is basically just making fun of the 80s hard rock scene from the Sunset Strip. Was there a lot of silliness going on in that genre? Of course. Hot chick in every video for no reason at all. I can't defend that. But you have to remember, that time was in the 80s. That was before internet porn, so that's all we had. You know, you had a three and a half minute video to rub one out. I got two out in that time. With a nap. Yeah, and once in a while, just about when you're ready to go, the shot will cut to Brett Michael's face, and you're like, oh, well, you know. He looks like a chick I banged in high school anyway. <laughs> well, back to my point. In the 80s, there were some great musicians and songwriting that got overlooked because of the way they dressed. The Rock of Ages movie-slash-musical really thought that metalheads that grew up on that music would love that movie. First of all, the only people that like singing and dancing are theater guys and chicks. Not a guy that wears a Saxon shirt. Let me tell you about a part in a movie that will go down as the worst scene ever filmed. Russell Brand and Alec Ball would play club owners of a famous rock bar. They break out singing the song, I Can't Fight This Feeling Anymore, into each other's eyes. At one point, the bartender interrupts and goes, hey, boss, they need you out back for a delivery. Alec Baldwin, who is staring into Russell Brand's eyes, goes, I'm busy. The bartender says, busy doing what? And Alec Baldwin actually says, I'm busy falling in love. <laughs> when I walked out of that movie theater, I was so embarrassed that someone would recognize me, I put a hoodie, hat, and sunglasses on. I'd rather be caught walking out of a Nambla meeting. <laughs> In closing, if your significant other ever asks you to watch that movie, tell her you'd rather share a jail cell with Jerry Sandusky. <laughs>